Hey, what is going on YouTube? It is Alex here, yet back with yet another video. And in today's video, go away. Um, in today's video, we will be talking about the Vikings, unfortunately, losing to the Eagles. And yeah, pretty much god darn upset. It's probably the worst upset you could possibly have, mainly because, um... Well, for one, we played sloppy pretty much every, like, bit of the game. We played pretty freaking terrible, in my opinion. Um, final score, 21-10. to 10. Um, And it was just, we played sloppy the whole game. Our offense wasn't there. Um, our defense was, like, not even there. In fact, I think the Eagles' defense was, like, far more su superior over ours. Um... Even though nobody got sacked, none of the quarterbacks got sacked, Sam Bradford pretty much got um, just fucked up like every fucking every other play or something. He just every, All the guys were contacting him, putting pressure on him. Um, nobody could really block. Our, the second best fucking defense in the NFL couldn't do shit. Um... Sam Bradford, the guy that went, like, five straight consecutive weeks without one turnover. One turnover, not one. Turned over the ball, like, five or six times. Um, just sloppy, sloppy game plan. The whole fucking game. Just really bad. Um, and as a result of that, I honestly think the Vikings deserve to lose. Um, Marcus Shales, I thought maybe we'd get something out of him. <laughs> Marcus Shales fumbles, and then... The guy that does returns for us, he had freaking two consecutive games where he had punt return touched punt return touchdowns, and now he he's the one that punts on returns and all this shit. Um, that first one was actually pretty damn good. The one where he got to about the twenty yard line, that one was actually pretty nice. I like that one. But then you just see that guy from the Eagles. Which I don't I don't even know what his name is, but he returns it for a touchdown and it's just. Blair, you tried to block him, but you, or you tried to grapple him, but you're not going to do anything. He's running full speed. You're just a kicker, man. But um, give him props. He didn't miss the one that he kicked. He, he didn't miss it, so props to him. At least he didn't fuck up, but I'm assuming if we were, it was more touchdowns being scored on offense was actually good. Like, we still looked so good two weeks ago in Houston, and then we just belly flopped today. I mean... We weren't even there. Like, where were the Minnesota Vikings? This dominant team, the Super Bowl caliber team, was just, like, dead. They literally were just dead. I mean, by the time we scored the first touchdown, which, don't get me wrong, I'm glad to see Cordero Patterson scoring a touchdown because, like, he hasn't scored in ages. I mean, he scored at Houston for, like, the first time since, like, 2014 on a... since, like, 2014 since we played the Buffalo Bills. So... Yeah, it's been ages since he's really gotten the ball, so it was nice to see him. I was kind of shocked that they put Adam Thielen in there because I thought, well, you know, um, um, Stephon Diggs was back, so I was kind of shocked that they put him in. But um, I guess they kind of, I guess Zimmer thought, well, hey, Adam Thielen's actually pretty damn good. I mean, I assume he probably always knew that, but I think he deserves to play after what he did two weeks ago. But I think what happened was, and. I don't know if this is just me being biased or what the hell it is, but I don't think there should be a bye week. As far as I'm concerned, the two things that should be taken on the football, you know, there have been changes around these stupid rules fucking the last few years where, like, now kickoffs are... Last year it was kickoffs are at the 15-yard line, and now uh, a touchback is now taking the ball at the 25-yard line as opposed to the 20-yard line. Like, I think field after points used to be at the 2-yard line for point afters, and now they're at the 15-yard line. Instead of making all these dumb, ridiculous yardage rules, why don't they just make, like, some better, like, scheduled rules? Like, freaking college NCAA football does not have freaking preseason. And that you just see in the NFL, and now, it's like, they don't have preseason. We did so good in preseason. That should be our regular season. I think, I think the NFL should take some cues from college where there is no preseason, meaning the game that you play in August, that first week in August, is the regular season. There is no preseason. Oh, and I know there's only one of these in the whole regular season for each team, but take out the bye. Just, just fuck the bye, because that was one of the reasons why I think... We, I, granted, 
I'm not one that likes excuses either. I know head coach Mike Zimmer doesn't really like excuses. But take the bye week out because it fucks up teams. It gives them a break. They lose their edge. And then they just play horrible. So the bye week should just be taken on football. Preseason bye week should just be taken on football. That way we get like what? 18, 19, 20. That way we get a 21 week regular season. Think of that. that, that yes, that's a long season. But 21, I, I think a 21 week season would be pretty cool in my opinion um as opposed to having games that don't count where the vikings do really good but it don't count for nothing so that's just my personal opinion i just figured i'd throw that out there um but yeah there's not really much i can say uh, for the vikings except for they just played sloppy this is the worst i've ever seen sam bradford um so i don't know honestly uh, I just hope, I'm kind of worried because you always hear that talk about Sam Bradford when he was for the Eagles, he couldn't stay healthy and stuff. Are we going to start seeing that for the Vikings where he plays really good? Because then, w- when we start thinking about next season, um, I know, yes, we should think about this season. A lot of you guys are probably saying, well, Alex, why are you talking about next season? You know, we're not even hardly halfway through this season. Well, think of it this way. Playoffs, uh, we're probably going to start talking about playoffs. Now, granted, um, nobody's going to be eligible for a playoffs week 8. We already know that. Um, so, it, Vikings have a break there where nobody's eligible for the playoffs. So, we kind of got a break. We can take it easy. Um, but, yeah, thing into 2017, the, our quarterback situation, you know, with um, Sam Bradford and Teddy Bridgewater. Obviously, Sam Bradford's got the bigger arm. So you'd think, like, he would be the look of the job. But then, you ne- I mean, Teddy's also got that finesse. So he can run in touchdowns. He can run for first downs. You don't really see a whole lot of that rushing and rushing coming from Sam Bradford. Where he's got the finesse. He's got the jukes. He's got all that. He just don't really have it. He's just got the big arm, and he's really good for throwing. That's pretty much it. So I think next year it's going to be about who do we really put in there? You know, especially if Teddy. Obviously, Teddy's not going to be there the first week. I mean, I don't, I don't think he'll be healed up that quick, but he'll be, it'll be around talking. I bet we'll probably see him in like probably like late September, early October, hopefully if he's healthy enough. Um, either it's gonna be that, or it's just gonna be they trade him. I, I, I don't, or he's just a backup. I mean, I don't know. I feel like if you're not gonna have Teddy Bridgewater trade the poor guy because. He deserves to start. I think if he were to start, I'd say the Redskins or some somebody who deserves it. Um, but, yeah. I des- I think he deserves to play football. I'm only saying this. Yes, I like Teddy. I don't... I don't. It's not an act of I hate him, so yay, let's get rid of him. I'm saying it because I don't think he deserves to sit there and be a backup for the rest of his career. Like, what the hell? He's only, like, what, 22 or some odd years old? He de- he, de- he deserves to play. Not just fucking sit there. Like, he could be a quarterback that could lead somebody to the Super Bowl. Whether it's us someday. Because, I don't know, maybe Sam goes down. But, I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't really be until t- 2018 where you can start thinking of, hey, Teddy. We got to think of where he could go. Um, because I think Teddy could go places. You know, whether it's he takes the Vikings to the Super Bowl or takes somebody else to the Super Bowl. I don't know. But, I'm just saying, I don't think it's fair for him... For Bradford to be the good one, and then have just Teddy te- or Teddy sit out. So I don't know. I don't know what you do about that situation. I'm just saying he deserves to play somewhere, whether it's here or not here. He needs to play because he's just young. And for crying out loud, the odds of getting in this league are one in fucking million. So it's like I don't think he should just sit there. He's still young and healthy and spry. I mean, you never know if Kirk Cousins gets hurt. You know, maybe the Redskins won. I don't know why I'm saying the Redskins. I think, I don't know. I just don't think Kirk Cousins is a good quarterback in my opinion. So let's just say he gets hurt. Maybe, um, you know, um, Teddy Bridgewater gets dealt to the Redskins. I mean, I don't know. Um, but anyways, enough of this crap. Um, as you guys can see, I'm not really pissed off. Well, I was when the game was going on, but I've had some time to think and, you know, kind of accept the fact that we are 5-1 and one now. Um, but next week, next week is the Bears, and don't worry, because just because the Vikings won this one doesn't mean they, won't, they can't win next week, because 
the Viking or the Bears are like what one in five, so or one in six, probably. Uh, yeah, they're one in six, I think. So you know what? I could probably see Sam Bradford and Stefan Diggs and Kyle Rudolph just taking out all. Oh, Jerry, Jarek McKinnon as well, just taking it all on the Bears. And okay, I'm gonna give credit to Matt Asiata because he did have actually have a pretty good run towards the end. So you know, give him credit. He can be explosive when he really wants to, but most of the time he's just kind of underrated. And I know I don't really like to bash the guy, but because I know he can be explosive when he really wants to. But my opinion, as far as the running game goes, it should be Jarek McKinnon all the way. But now Jarek McKinnon, I don't even fucking know. Um, he keeps on getting hurt. He got hurt like twice today, but then they kept on bringing him back in because he never really got anything severe. And then I also want to talk about that last score that the um the. Vikings had, which was to quarter a pass to Cordero Patterson. That was a nasty hit. Um, I'm actually kind of pissed off about that. Now, granted, that's not why we lost. Of course, it's not why we lost. We lost because we were just fucking playing sloppy and we didn't really fucking try. I don't think. But that hit was freaking nasty, and I'm just pissed because the refs didn't call it. Now, granted, we would not have won the game even if they called it a flag or something. I mean. Wouldn't have mattered. They'd really have touched on anyways. But I'm just saying there should have been some sort of call. And I think it's wrong that the rest didn't do that because the NFL is all or there's always complaints about like old oh, teams should be penalized for those head to head hits. And for crying out loud, last year against the Rams, that fucking asshole Marcus Joyner. I don't even like the Rams specifically because of that game. They're like one of my top two hated teams in the NFL. Um, so. Yeah, I don't even fucking like Lamar- Marcus Joyner. I think should have got more than just fine. Should have got suspended for like a game or two. I don't even know, but you know what? Screw the NFL. They're all just a bunch of nitwits. Um, the rules are stupid. The refs are stupid. No, the rules aren't stupid, but the refs are fucking stupid as shit. Sick of these stupid ass refs that make no sense. But anyways, enough of me talking. This is Alex signing off. Hopefully next week is better. So yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.